precursion layer protocol. It's located on the top of TCP IP protocol stack. An FTP protocol is used to transfer file from host to host. You can download or upload a file from one host to another host, okay? And then, in this chapter, we will explain how FTP is worked, and then how to configure the FTP or use the FTP on the Huawei's network device, okay? First, uh, FTP is a server client, client server model, okay? When the FTP protocol is running, one part is running as the FTP server, and another part is running as the FTP client. And of course, you can upload a file to the FTP server or download a file from the FTP server, okay, to the client. Okay, and uh, Huawei's network device can work as either as the FTP client or work as the FTP server, okay? And uh, when the Huawei's network device work as the FTP client, then it can upload and download from uh, another server that work as an FTP server, okay? This can be a host, can be a computer, okay? And then running the FTP server uh, software, okay? And uh, when the network device work as a FTP server, then you can use a computer as an FTP client, okay? Then you can download or upload a file from the Huawei's network device, okay? And uh, this is the model of the FTP protocol. This part, this part is the client part, and this part is the server part, okay? When the FTP is working, the client and the server need to establish two connections. Of course, this is TCP connection, okay? The FTP is worked on top of TCP, okay? One is the control connection. The control connection is used to send the command from the client to the server, okay? Or the server to respond, okay, to the client request. Okay, and uh, the control connection, use the port, TCP port 21, okay, 21. And then another connection is the data connection. Okay, the data connection is used to send the data, send the file between the client and the server. And uh, when you download or upload the file from the server, then it's, on, it's send on data connections. And the data connection, use the TCP port 20, okay? Use the 20 port, okay? And uh, of course, the FTP protocol will access the file system local to the client and uh, the server part will access the file system local to the server, okay? And uh, of course, FTP have a user interface. Usually, we have the command line interface, okay? on the network device. Of course, in our computer, maybe there's a GUI, graphic user interface, okay? Uh, but at the background, it's the same. The mechanism is the same, okay? Then, the FTP, there's a two transfer transmission mode. Two transmission mode. One mode, we call the ASCA mode, okay? ASCA2 mode. And uh, another mode is the binary mode. The ask to mode is used to send a text file. Send a text file, okay. But if you want to send a program, that's a binary files, okay, program or images, then you must need a binary mode, okay. This is the to transmission mode, okay, transmission mode, okay, then, how to configure the FTP service on Huawei's device. Now, this is the example scenario, okay? And uh, the client and the server are both Huawei's network device, both Huawei's router, okay? And then, how to configure it? We should know that the FTP client 
did not need a configuration, did not need any configuration. The client just operates, okay? And the FTP server needed to configure, okay? Of course, for the FTP server and FTP client to communicate, they must need configure an IP address, and then they can ping each other. That means the IP layer, they are connected, okay? They can ping each other, they can communicate, okay? And then, how to configure an FTP server? First, you need to enable FTP server under the system view, okay? Under system view. Enable FC, FTP server on the device. By default, the FTP server is disabled on Huawei's network device. Okay, then you need to set the FTP directory. Okay, that means when a user logged in, then when a FTP user logged in, then this user is uh, located on this file, this file, this directory, okay? And uh, under this file, under this directory, the user can operate, okay? And uh, this is a default FTP directory. That means if there's any FTP user logged in, then put it into this directory, okay? This is the uh, two basic configuration for FTP service, but for the FTP to work, we also need to create a user name, create a user on the FTP server. Because the FTP need authentication, so you can configure a local user under AAA server model, okay? Okay, this is the system view, and then AAA, this is the server mode of the system view. And then you can create a user the username is Huawei, and then the password, password is Huawei123, okay? And then, this is not enough. You should specify this user is used for FTP access, okay? FTP access. Then, you can use FTP to access from client to the file server. And uh, there are additional configurations. This command, you have to specify this user the working directory is fresh, uh, colon, and uh, slash, okay? This is the working directory for this user, okay? Uh, of course, if we have such a default, if not configure this, then this user will working in the default FTP directory. But if you configure this, okay, then first choose this directory, okay, as the working directory. And there are some optional configurations. This is optional. The access limit 200. That means uh, concurrently you can use this username to access the FTP server uh, at um, about 200 users at the same time. Okay, you can log in and another user can log in. At most 200 users can use the, this command, use this username to log in as an FTP client. And then the idle timeout. That means if the connection is succeed, then if you did not touch anything, did not issue up the command, then how many time passed, then this user will log out automatically. Okay, automatically log out. That's the idle timeout. Of course, the zero zero means we are never, we are never automatically log out. That's when user log in, we are keep logging in forever, okay? And the privilege level. The privilege level, what that's, we have discussed, there's 16 levels from zero to 15. And above the three, from three to 15, is the same meaning, okay? This is the, uh, can manage the file system. Of course, the FTP protocol must have must operate the file system. So we should uh, specify the privilege level should be three or bigger than three or level four, level five, and uh, level 15. Okay, that's all can work. Okay, after this, the FTP server, the configuration of the FTP server is finished. Of course, the FTP client did not need any configuration. Then 
we can operate on the FTP client. Then on the FTP client, we can issue a command FTP, then the server's IP address, okay, FTP, server's IP address. Then the command, the control connection will be try to connect. After the connection is succeed, then username and password is prompt for you. And then you can type in and the password. The username and the password. If the authentication is passed, then you are logged in. Okay. And if you want to transfer images or the programs, that's the VIP software, the operating system, should be used the binary mode, okay? Binary mode. And then you can get, this is downloading the file from the FTP server. That means this file originally is located on the FTP server, okay? And then download from the FTP client. And also you can put, put a file. Originally, there is a file located on the FTP client, then you can put to the FTP server, okay? This is a one example, get a file, then downloading the file, okay? And uh, then we get to the end of the FTP. And uh, there are two questions. What ports are required to open in order to allow the FTP service to be operated? And uh, we have discussed the FTP use the two ports, okay? Use the TCP protocol. The two port is 21 and uh, 20. The 21 is used for control. That's the control connection. And uh, 20 is used for data. That's the data connection. Used to send or receive the files from this connection, okay? And then the second question, a user is considered to have no authority to access any working directory. What steps are required to resolve this? Yeah, of course, when you configure an FTP user, the FTP user's name and the password is not enough. Okay, you must specify the working directory of this user, okay? Working directory, and then, Another, the privilege level of this user should be level three or more than level three. Okay, then this user can access the files in the working directory. Okay, 